Okay. Hi, class. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening to you. Happy Monday. Hello, how are you? Fine. You're fine? Here okay. again. Yes, Here we again. go again. You're right. So tell me, what did you do during the weekend on Friday? The Black Friday. What did you do? Did you go shopping or not? Good evening, teacher. I don't I, uh -huh. shopping. I really? don't shopping. You went shopping. What did you buy? ¿Qué compraron? What did you buy? Mm -hmm. Shoes. Okay. So, is it through? Because, you know, I have never gone on a Black Friday uh, to these stores that they say that they have those discounts. So, is it True, es cierto lo de los descuentos, chicos, en el Black Friday, or not? ¿Qué, qué opinan o qué han visto ustedes? Yes, it's true. Really, is it true? Okay. Because I I work in how do you say zapatería? Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you say zapatería, class? Shoe. Store. Store. Shoe store. Shoe store. store. Really, Linda? Okay, tell me more. The, um, uh, I don't know how to say it. But yes, it's true the discounts. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. MD is fake. <laughs> MD at Soyapango, it says, right? No, es que, es que pasó ah, sea, en, sea. En, en MD en ese, la mayoría piensa que es porque es mentira, pero no, este, los del consumidor dicen de que no podemos poner lo que es los rótulos abajo, oh, sino que arriba. Entonces, oh, okay. ese fue lo que pasó. So, that's what happened. Pero, pero sí, to, todos los descuentos son ciertos. Really? Porque, sí, sí. Ahí voy, teacher. You went, okay? Tell me more. This is a speaking time. Para eso hago esto, para que... Speaking time, you practice your speaking. So please, I went here more. yesterday. Really? Okay. Uh -huh. I went here yesterday. So, did you get something? A pedalear. A <laughs> biking. A pedalear. Where, where biking. did you go? Where did you go? Uh, uh, la Claudia Lars. La... Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Claudia Claudia de ciclistas. What Muy time bonito. do you go? Do you go in the morning eh, or at night? In the morning. In the morning. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I have a friend. I have a friend. He's a biker, but they go at night. You know, they go biking at night. Very late. Mm -hmm. And even if it is raining, they still go. So they keep on going. So I really like that one. So ya sabemos, chicos, tenemos un biker en nuestra clase. Ivan, he's a biker. Biker sería, okay? So that's it. Great job. <laughs> there we go. Bien, clase. More or less, more or less. Uh, no, but there you go. Eh, que vimos el jueves pasado. What was the topic from class number eight? Who can remember about the topic? Hicimos un repaso. We were making we like a whole it. review and we were practicing what? Mm -hmm. Había una estructura en específico que se usa mucho. Yes, what was the structure? The use of their is and there are countables and non countables nouns, nombres. Remember, we are just going to count nouns. But in this case, we are not going to continue talking about nouns. Look what we have for today. We have a different topic for today. We are going to learn, well, probably not learned, but to remember, to refresh, 
this information on how to describe appearance. Con qué describimos la apariencia. Recordemos toda esa información. Esto estaba en el principiante 1. No recuerden qué otro módulo se da este tema. Appearance. How are we going to describe appearance? Vamos, recordemos toda esa info. What are we going to use? Are we going to use verbs? Not right. How about nouns? Color no. hair. So, ¿qué usamos para describir apariencia? Look. No. Adjectives. Adjectives. That's right. Adjetivos para que vayamos identificando cada parte de gramática. Not verbs, not nouns. Adjectives. ¿Y qué tipo de pregunta ocupamos para describir o para preguntar cómo luce alguien? What is, we have two questions. Dos preguntas que usamos. No, not really. No se acuerdan. What does she look like? Exactly, aquí está. What, what do you look like? Or what what does, does she look like? Like, look like, ok, das, como llevamos un auxiliar, el verbo, aunque sea tercera persona, no se le agrega ese, right, remember that rule, we have an auxiliary, so that's why we are going to have the verb without s, so what does she look like, appearance, esta pregunta solo se usa para preguntar sobre apariencia. ¿Y qué si quiero preguntar sobre personalidad? Esa es otra pregunta. Ya no sería, what does she look like? What does he look like? Esa solo es para apariencia. ¿Cómo es esta persona? Ah, en personalidad. ¿Quién recuerda esa otra pregunta? How is he like? There we go. O decimos, what is, aquí usamos el verbo to be. What is he like? Puede ser he or she. O plural incluso, they. Ya no estamos diciendo look, el verbo look, cómo se ve, sino cómo es esta persona. Entonces, esta sería para personality, ¿ok? Para que recordemos esas dos preguntas. What is he? What is she like? What does she look like? What does he look like? Ok, así empezamos nuestra clase. Recordando esas dos preguntas. Right. But I know. ¿Puedo ya borrar? Can I erase? Can I switch to a different slide? Or are you still copying those questions? Can we move on? Yes? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, so here we go. I know it is Monday. Andan calladitos los lunes. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a practicar ahorita. Look what we have for today. Nuevo reto para el lunes. Here we go. Have you ever seen this? This is a very nice game. Para que practiquen concentration. Okay. What do you see here? What can you see here? These colors. are, uh -huh, exactly. Colors. You can see different type of colors, but what are you going to do? This is a great practice. Quiero que practiquen Concentración, ok. For example, what are you going to do? As you may see, the first example that I have here, it's the name of this color, color yellow. But what color is this word? Green. 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 So I want you to mention the color, not 
to read the word. No quiero que me lean la palabra. Quiero que me mencionen el color de la palabra. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro? Yes. Aquí sí, algunos no, teacher, no le entiendo. You know? Yes, ya he hecho esta teacher. actividad con otros alumnos, no, teacher. No puedo y no le entiendo. So, please. Yes, I understand. You, I do, I get it, I understand. Ok, antes de empezar les explico. Es importante la concentración, ok? Que seamos capaces de dominar esa habilidad también. Porque es una habilidad, you know, it's an skill. Okay? Porque algunos fácil me desconcentro. Ah, what, what was this? Alguien me está hablando, ¿qué? ¿Qué me dijo? So, please, this is for you to exercise. Even to me, it's not that easy. A mí me cuesta un poco. So, let me try and let me see if I can. Ok, mencionemos el color, no la palabra. I have green, yellow, red. So, what color do you see this one? ¿Qué color la ven para aceptarlas y no tomarlo pink. como un error? Pink. Pink, pink o purple. purple. Pink. Purple. Purple. Pink. Yes, because pink. <laughs> ya de... pink. Ok, lo dejamos como pink. Ok, pink. El, el purple lo llamamos oscuro. Ok, dejemos este como pink y este otro acá como pink. Ok, pink, pink. red, pink. green, black, blue, orange, red. <laughs> what color is this one? Blue, Blue. Green. green, orange. Orange. And this one? Green. No. Blue. Uh -huh. Fíjense que este sí, este, este coincide con su nombre. Yes. Is Cian. It is. So, how do you say Cian in English? Sa. Cian. Ahí sí, le doy un punto Sian. gratis. Purple. Sian. Cyan, yeah. This Sian. is orange, blue, yellow, orange, <laughs> black, and red. red. Aquí sí red. también, red. Okay, sé que son mejores que la teacher, so what are we going to do? The same. Los envío en grupos, practiquen unos cinco minutos, y luego todos listos para el ejercicio, ok? Concentration, okay. practice right now. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 yes teacher. teacher. So Can let me send, send the this. picture on the... Yes, right. Please? Yes, just right now. Vamos a ver, ¿dónde está su grupo? Group from eight to nine. So aquí está. Okay, here we go. Did you get the picture? Yes. yes. There we go. No. So go and practice. Five minutes to practice and then we come back, okay? Here we go. Go class. Go to practice. I'm still missing some. Okay, I'm still missing just Linda and, okay, Carlos. Don't worry, Carlos, you can stay here. Puede quedarse acá, Carlos Cruz. No se preocupe, aquí quedes. Pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. Oh. Green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, bl blue, orange, red, blue, mm -hmm. green, 
science, ay, science, science, <risa> no fue. pink, orange, uh -huh. blue, yellow, orange, orange, black and red. Sí, bueno, otra vez. Eh, green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. Mm. Green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, eh, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> Bye. Otra vez, vamos. Eh, green, yellow. Ah, okay. Eh, Uy, yellow is red, blue, red, orange, pink, orange, yellow, yellow, and blue, blue, red, blue, red, eh, orange, mm, pink, yellow, blue, Okay, time to come back and to listen to some of you, okay? Here we go. How was it, Linda? Was it easy, difficult? Uh, I can, I can, was, was it easy? No, this... no, okay, don't worry. I know you can do it. So let's wait for your classmates. Ya regresan, ahí vienen ya todos. Let's wait for your classmates. So here we go. I'm, as always, I'm just going to ask for volunteers because I don't want to force you. No los quiero forzar. I know you can do it. You all can do this activity. But it's, it is up to you, right? Don't be afraid, okay? ¿Para qué me sirve esta actividad? Para que pierdan el miedo de equivocarse. Si se equivocan, that's all right. That's, that's all right, you know? This is the process of learning. So, I have Romeo, Luis Eduardo, I have Maritza Elizabeth, and then Genesis. I know you can do it, okay? Here we go. En ese orden, luego seguimos con los demás participantes. Go, please, Romeo. I know you can do it. Okay. Green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, orange, Blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. That's all right. You did a great <laughs> job. Amazing. Amazing. Claps. Applause. Excellent. Next one, Luis. Okay. Go, Green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, Green, cyan, pink, orange. Blue, yeah. yellow, um, orange, black, red. You did it, excellent. There we go, great job. Next one, who was next? Elizabeth, right? Okay, teacher. Uh, green, pink. Uh, black, red, cyan, 
uh, blue, uh, yellow, okay. red, blue, blue, or pink, uh, orange, uh, red, green, orange, green, orange, uh, red. Okay, okay. She went to a different way. ¿Vieron cómo lo hizo ella? She went like this one. Mm -hmm. From top to the bottom. But that's all right. You did a great, great job. Genesis. Green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, yeah. blue, orange, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, orange, and blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. There we go, excellent job. Who is next? I didn't mention anyone, right? So, I band, then Jose Alberto, and then Francisco Antonio and then Maria Dolores. Go in that order, please. Go. Okay. Yellow green, blue yellow, orange red, orange pink, yellow red, blue green, blue black, orange blue, yellow orange, black red, white blue, purple green, cyan, light blue, green pink, Pink orange, red blue, red yellow, red red, red orange, red black, and red red. Wow, that was a different level. El leyó y dijo el color. That was okay. Even I me quedé colapsada. Okay, I like it. <laughs> there we go. Was Alberto? I know you can do it. Okay, the tonic of purple. Green, <laughs> I don't know. Yellow, red. Wait, wait, wait. Red, yellow. Perdón. Green. Green, there we go. <laughs> green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. There we go, excellent, amazing, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Green, yellow, red, Pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, red. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, Maria, go. I know you can do it. <clears throat> green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, red. Blue, uh, green, cyan, pink, orange, uh, blue, yellow, orange, red, uh, <laughs> black, red. Okay, excellent, amazing. Stephanie, go please, yeah, and then Jennifer, Tatiana. Go, girls. Carla, Stephanie, go. Okay. Green, yellow, red, pink, red, green, black, blue, orange, uh, red, blue, green, cyan, pink, orange, blue, yellow, orange, black, and red. And red, there we go. You go, Jennifer. Excellent. Okay, uh, green, uh, yellow, uh, Red, pink, red, eh, green, black, eh, ay, <laughs> blue, blue, eh, orange, red, blue, and green, cyan, eh, pink, orange, eh, Blue, yes. yellow, orange, black, red. And red, there we go, <laughs> amazing. So class, let me check on, okay, that's it. No more volunteers, ya no vi sus manos levantadas. So why do we, why is it so difficult? ¿Por qué creen que es difícil 
hacer este ejercicio. Vamos a la conclusión. Why is it too hard for our brains to assimilate this type of activities? Because we want to read the... Exactly. The read and We want to color. read. Yes. Exactly. Because our brain is telling us, I know you can read that. ¿Qué creen que pasan con los niños? He hecho esta misma actividad with kids de cuatro o cinco años. ¿Qué creen que pasa? I think it's, it's, it's uh -huh. easy for them because it's they easy. only know the color. It is not a challenge. No, it's like, ah, oh, we are going to practice colors because they cannot read. But as you already know how to read, you understand the language. That's why our brain, it is like fighting, you know? Y eso se debe a nuestra parte, tenemos... Bueno, si nos metemos a discutir con las partes del cerebro, quién comprende, quién lee, quién dice los colores. Pero sí es muy interesante. Practiquen. Les dejo eso como un reto. Practiquen ese tipo de ejercicios para que nos retemos, ¿ok? Que reten a su cerebro, que lo tengamos siempre alerta, ¿ok? So, what are we going to discuss today? ¿Qué les dije al inicio de la clase? What is the topic for today? Who can remember? Appearance. 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 And what are we going to use to describe appearance? Mm. Nouns, adjective. 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 What is the adjective. question that we use to ask for appearance? What does she look like? What does she look like? What does he look like? There we go. If you go to the platform, uh, but before I need to check the attendance list. Si no me emociono y se me olvida, ¿ok? Veamos, Andrea Gabriela Maravilla. Andrea Maravilla. Present teacher. Excelente, Carlos Cruz. Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Ah, ahí está, ¿verdad? Carlos dijo que está trabajando. Don't worry. Carmen Lisette Santillana. Present teacher. Excelente, Claudia Rebeca Orellana. Claudia Orellana. Okay. Edwin Edgardo Alarcón. Edwin Alarcón. Present. Okay, Edwin. Esmeralda Isabel Vázquez. Present. Okay, Edwin, thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Vázquez. Francisco Antonio Calderón. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Francisco, Genesis, Ariel Pacheco. I am here. Okay, thank you. Ivan Ibrahim Ramirez. Present Ivan, teacher. there we go. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Tatiana Gutierrez. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer, Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, Jorge, Jose Alberto Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Jose Alexander Hernandez. Jose Alexander Hernandez Sorto. Karina Alejandra Aquino. Okay, Carla Lisette Martinez. Carla Lisette Martinez. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present, teacher. Okay, Carla. Catherine Iracema Villalta. Present. Okay, Catherine. Leticia Aide Flores. Present. Okay, Leticia. Linda Beatriz López. Present. Okay, Linda. Luis Eduardo Méndez. I'm here. Okay, Luis. Mayra Xiomara Guevara. Mayra Xiomara. María Dolores García. Present. Ok. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas. Present teacher. Ok, excelente. Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present teacher. Ok, Melissa. Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Ok. Wendy Paula López. Present teacher. Ok, Wendy. And Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. 
Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. So not really. So let's go to the platform and we are going to practice, you know. In the platform, we are just going to listen. We are going to practice pronunciation. Remember that you can play that video as many times as you need. Right, here we go. I have the same information in my PowerPoint presentation. Aquí vamos, chicos. Here we go. Okay, I need a volunteer. ¿Quién puede leer el objetivo? What is the objective for the first activity? Section number four. Just let me look for it. Aquí está. Bueno, aquí está. ¿Quién puede leer el objetivo? Lesson objective. Go, please. Alguien que lo lea. Romeo, go, please. Yes. Uh, this one. Sorry. Okay. Uh, in these sessions, sessions, participants will will learn vocabulary for describing people. Excellent. In esta class, in Spanish now, please. In esta class, aprenderán vocabulario para describir personas. Muy bien. Primera parte, vocabulario. Ya luego nos movemos a Describir personas. That I know you can do it, right? So let's listen to this vocabulary. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair. Curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, vocabulary. So, look what we have here. Miren acá, tenemos la misma información. Okay, ¿cómo podemos empezar a describir a alguien? Remember, appearance, hair, hair, hair. And I have different samples of hair. First one, long brown hair. Long brown hair. Remember, Primero, describimos cómo es mi cabello long. And after that, if I want to include the color, I am going to do it. And at the end, I have the noun. Okay. Ese es el orden. Adjetivo, color, nombre. Long brown hair. Podría ser long black hair. Long red hair or any other different type of color, okay? Long brown hair. I have the same example with short, short, short blonde hair. I can replace the color. I can also say short black hair, short brown hair, or any other type of color. Okay, long, short. What else do we have here? Straight, straight, straight black hair. Straight black hair. Next one, curly, curly red hair. So is it long or short hair? Long or short? Short, short hair. Short. Short. Okay. Short Entonces, hair. ¿en dónde ubicaría lo largo, lo corto? Primero digo curly. Acá, luego después de ese adjetivo, puedo decir si es largo o corto. Curly, mm. short, red Teacher. hair. Tell me. Curly sí. es colocho. Ah, colocho. Y no solo es para hombres, también es, podría ser para chicas. Si tenemos es, el cabello. Es, es, es 
Es liso. Mm -hmm. Straight, cabello liso. Straight. Por ejemplo, el de este niño. ¿Cómo sería? Curly or straight? String. Straight. straight, short. Ajá, entonces sería luego de decir que es short. Short. Que le sigue liso. Straight. String. Blonde, blonde hair. hair. Hay un orden de adjetivos. Tienen que posicionar en un orden específico. En el caso de él, miren el color de su cabello. Red hair. Red hair. Hay otro adjetivo que se ocupa para los de cabello rojo. ¿Alguien ha escuchado de qué otra forma le llamamos a los red hair? Ginger. Ginger, exactly. Ginger. También es aceptado ese adjetivo. Ginger. Que sería pelirrojo. In this case, no hay más que describir, ¿ok? We don't have color, no sabemos si es liso, si es nada. Bold. Bold and bold. Easy, que fácil de escribir esto, ¿verdad? In this case, take a look at this man. Ya nos incluso, ya incluimos no solo su cabello, sino facial también. A mustache, mustache, and a How do you pronounce this one? Did you hear? ¿Escucharon la pronunciación? Beer. Beer. Is bird. similar a pájaro. Ajá, pero la D al final de pájaro suena bird. Yes. ¿Y yes. esa sería? Beer. Be beard. ¿Y en this one? Beer. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, hay otra, hay otra también. Look. <laughs> para que manejen, practiquen esas cuatro de corrido para practicar pronunciación. But in this one, barba sería beard. Next one. ¿Qué más podemos describir aparte del cabello? Ah, your age. Very easy to describe age. In this case, as you may see, I am using adjectives. No estoy siendo específica. Tengo 31, tengo 32. Not really. I am using adjectives to describe. Young. We have young. Young people. Middle age. Middle age. Elderly. Pero aquí hace falta una categoría antes de young. ¿Cuál le podríamos poner antes de John? ¿Qué otra categoría? Child. Children. Mm. O kid. ¿Saben que existe esta? ¿Han escuchado eso? Es un grupo. Ahí están los babies también, ¿verdad? Babies. Babies. Después de babies, ¿se siguen los? Sí sería como... Niños, pero recuerden que son adjetivos, son categorías. No decimos niños, no. Niñez, adultez, vejez. Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la de babies? Childhood. Uh -huh. So in this case, young people, middle age, and elderly. ¿En cuál entraremos nosotros, chicos? Young people, right? Elder, um... ¿En cuál estamos nosotros? Aquí, ¿verdad? Young people, right? No, listen. Or yes. middle age. Middle age. No, pero la middle, middle age. Pre middle, pre-middle. Pre-middle, me encanta esa, la pre-middle age. De, desde que edad se considerado. We considerarlo. want to be young people. We are still young. Say, I'm young teacher. So, middle age. Creo que la middle age va desde los, um, if I'm not mistaken, no quiero dar información incorrecta, pero take a look at this woman. 40. Like 40, like from 40 to 60, probably. Probably. So we are not there. We are still young. Tal vez entramos en los adultos. Adults, right? Adultos. There we go. So describing age. What else can I describe? Looks. Recuerden apariencia. Looks. Handsome. It's for men. For boys. Pretty. For girls. 
for women, good looking both. Puede ser para él o para ella. She is good looking. She is a good looking girl. He is a good looking boy. Este entra para ambos. Good looking. ¿Cómo traducimos good looking, class? Bien parecido. Ok. ¿Qué más? Buena ¿Qué apariencia. Más? Buena, de apariencia. buena apariencia. Buena apariencia. Se mira bien, dice. <risas> de buena apariencia, ok. So, ¿En qué categoría entran ustedes? Handsome or pretty? En la primera, en la primera. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. No me digan pretty, los chicos, no. Handsome. Y las niñas no me digan handsome, no. Pretty. Hay otros adjetivos yeah. también. Tell me, digan. Y feo. Feo, ok. Si quieren agregarla, si quieren agregarla, that's all right. How do we say feo, class? Ugly. Ugly. Y Ugly. hay otros adjetivos también para pretty. Ok. Más que bonito, ¿qué sería? Beautiful. Beautiful. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Hay otra, miren. ¿Qué pasó? Gorgeous. Dale bueno. esa mierda, pendeja, me está viendo. Mm. Watch out with your microphones, please. Ok. So remember, these are just some examples. Hay demasiados adjetivos para describir apariencia, ¿ok? No solo eso. Este es como ejemplo, ¿ok? Ejemplos bien certeros, pero pueden describir también usando otro tipo de adjetivos, like ugly, like beautiful. No sé si hay algo más para decir que alguien es feo. Not really, right? So ugly is ugly, I guess, right? But I don't have ugly students in this class. Let's practice. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Let me see. Carla Stephanie, can you help me out reading the first examples? Hair. Long brown hair. Yes. Continue. Short blonde hair. Yeah. Straight black hair. Yes. Corning red hair. Yeah. Bald. 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 Yes. A mustache, 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 mustache and bread, bread. Bread? No, no, no. 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 Bread is pan. Beard, beard. <laughs> okay, and there beard. we go, there we go. Excellent pronunciation. Francisco, H, continue with H. Thank you, teacher. Young, middle age, elderly. Elderly, there we go. Let me look for... Catherine Villalta. Looks. Handsome. Good looking. Pretty. Okay. Hand. Handsome. Handsome. Uh, handsome. Yes. Pretty. 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 There we go. Excellent pretty. pronunciation. Gracias. No, es, para eso estamos. Muy bien. ¿Qué más tenemos? ¿Cómo más podemos describir a las personas? Hair, age, and looks. Let me see if you remember. Veamos quién recuerda. Jorge Alberto. Hair. Hair. <laughs> what can you tell yeah. me about this lady right here? Long brown hair. Okay, okay. Right. Escuché hair. And hair son diferentes. Vamos, practiquemos. Hair. 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 One more time. Hair. 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 Muy hair. bien. Entonces, ¿cómo describíamos a ella? ¿Cómo la describíamos? A la primera. Yes. To the first one. Long, Long brown hair. Long brown hair. How about this? This key right hair. here. Short. Blonde hair. Blonde, there we go, blonde. And in the case of this girl. Strain, uh, black hair. Aha, uh -huh, it's a stray. What color is it? Black. black. What is that? Hair. There yeah. we go, there we go. Let me see, Edwin, por ahí Edwin. Ahorita que pase, Edwin. How about Hello. this? 
this guy over here? Yes. Curly red hair. Curly red hair. Y el más difícil, más difícil. Iván, Ivan. Ball. <laughs> that's it, ball. No. Yes, that's all right, that's all right. Carmen Lizeth. How about this man? I don't know if she's still there. Carmen and Seth. A oh. uh, uh, mustache and a beard. A mustache and a beard. A mustache and yeah, a beard. There we go. There we go. Wendy Paola, can you continue with age? Um, I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, it's repeat, please. Uh, ¿Qué es lo que se debe hacer, por favor? Que, que me distraes un momento. <laughs> don't worry. I'm sorry. Category entra él. How about this kid? A category the look? No, we are talking about age. Mm, no entiendo, teacher. Okay, don't worry. Who can help her? Can I do that? Please. The first one is John. John. This is John. How about middle age? Middle age. And elderly. And elderly. Looks. What can you tell me about this guy over here? Handsome. 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 Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. And pretty. Pretty. And pretty. She is pretty. pretty. Okay. There we go. Ya veo okay. que nos sirvió mucho el ejercicio de los colores. So, se los muestro nuevamente. Ahí están. Questions. How would you describe your hair. ¿Cómo describen su cabello? Empecemos por ahí. Hair. How would you describe? ¿Y qué estructura usarían? I am, I have. ¿Cómo usarían para describirse? My, I have. I have. my hair is. O oh, my I hair am. is. O oh, yo tengo. Mi cabello es diferentes estructuras. Vamos, let me listen to My you. My hair is long, black hair. No, pero ahí estamos repitiendo dos veces hair. My hair is. Por eso, si ocupo I la estructura have. I have, ahí se puede poner hair al final. Si digo hair al inicio, my hair is long and brown. Ahí se acaba. Go please, Carla Stefani. Tell me I about have a straight, a straight black hair. Oh, like this. You have a straight yeah. black hair. Leticia, I did. How about you? Tell me about your hair. Mm -hmm. I have a short, dark brown hair. Okay, short, light brown. Like, like this short? Because this is short. ¿Cuál sería la siguiente categoría? Que nos llega hasta los hombros. ¿Qué opinan, clase? Because short Long. is short. Short is short. Como los chicos. They all are wearing short hair. Or they have, are wearing. They have. Middle short. long. <laughs> middle, like, like middle, exactly. Podemos decir middle. Middle length. De categoría. So, what are you going to do? ¿Cómo vamos a producir? Información. Ah, I'm still missing this one. Me falta una. Vayan identificando su información, como es su cabello, de acuerdo a las imágenes, como es su apariencia, like looks. How about your age? I'm still missing this one. Me falta esa, miren. Height. Height. Su altura. Height. I have short people in this class. Mm. Fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. Okay? Short. ¿Qué sería short? Pequeño, Miss. Uh -huh. Pequeño. Bajo. 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 Pequeño. Bajo. 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 Fairly short. Like fairly short. No tan pequeño. Fair. Fairly short. Medium height. Estatura, ¿qué sería? Medium. 
Mediana. La altura promedio, media, esta altura media. Media, ni alto ni bajo. Ni bajo. So, medium height. Luego creo uh -huh. que le seguiría solamente tall. Alto, alguien alto. Luego de alto sigue pretty tall. Ya es más que alto, pretty tall. Y alguien que es demasiado alto, arriba del promedio, sería very, very tall. Ok, very tall. Y ahí está. So, can you identify, how about your height? ¿Cuál es su altura, clase? Are you short? Acá, miren, ya no usamos I have. No decimos yo soy. I am short. I you am very tall. Say, I am very tall. Y si se fijan, no estamos haciendo referencia a una altura específica. No, esto es como en general. I am tall. I am very tall. I am medium height. I am fairly short. Lo mismo que otra estructura ocupamos. Let me see. Let me go back. Aquí tengo la que estaba en la en la plataforma. It's like the same, right? Same information. La misma información. So, para esto, para expresar el cabello, usamos I have. En la edad, I am. The same as with the looks. Casi solo usamos el verbo to be y el verbo have. Right. Questions. Preguntas. Questions about this vocabulary. Ahora solo nos enfocamos en vocabulary. ¿Qué otra pregunta? Pronunciación probablemente. No. If not, I am going to send you. Les envío esto. Would you and... repeat? Yes. Again. I'm sorry. Would you repeat again? The pronunciation barba. Ahorita. Bear, bear, o bear. Bear, bear mm -hmm. sería oso. Bear, okay. bear. Pero hay algo que lo distingue, una D al final. Ok. okay. Just, just give me a moment, ok. Teacher. Yes. Can you repeat the pronunciation de me, medio, medio, is medio. Como Mi. con R o, o de Miriam. 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 Mm -hmm. Como que si decimos el nombre Miriam. Miriam Heights, yes. Con R. Right. Yes, practicamos ahorita. O sea, ya les di la... Oh. Sí, creo que ya les había dicho de translate, right? Para que vean cómo mover los labios. Aquí vamos. Ok, let me go to this one. Vale. La primera era cuál? Miriam me decían. Miriam. Medium height. Let's listen, please. Listen. Medium height. Medium height. Once again. Medium height. Medium. No sé si se logra entender. Medium height. O sea, si es como poniendo la, la R. Mm -hmm. Medium, yes. Okay, thank you. Once teacher. again. Medium. Medium. Let's learn how to pronounce it. Medium. Aquí, miren, nos da una buena idea de cómo leerla. Sounds like, suena como medium, medium. Medium. Medium, medium. Right? ¿Cuál era la otra? La otra palabra Ray? que no. Which beer, one? beer, ah. barba. Like B-E. This one. Yes. Okay. Ahí está un ejemplo, miren. Beard. 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 Como alargado el sonido, ajá. No es, aquí no se escribe, es como sonaría, suena como. Que suena. Suena okay. como. Beard. Nos da referencia como eh, sonidos que nosotros ya conocemos en español. Beard. ¿Otra? ¿Any other? Straight, deliso. Ah, muy bien. Practicamos esa. Straight. Ah, miren. Miren cómo la trago. Straight. Acuérdense el sonido de la S al inicio. Straight. 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 
straight. Straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go. Tenemos what time? Wow, time is over. Really? No, pero empezamos como dos minutitos, ¿verdad? Como las ocho y dos. So, dos minutos. Identifiquen ahorita en qué categoría entra. Yeah, tell me, Romeo, please. Um, I can remind you of something. Yeah, please. Uh, the, the last week, mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> do you remember that you were going to send us the list of regular verbs for the pronunciation? I didn't send it. Uh, yes. I no, didn't, right? No. <laughs> You are still missing the regular and irregular verbs. What else? Yeah, uh, the regular verbs for the pronunciation is uh, more yes, difficult. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, you. teacher. But, okay. No, you know what? I like you to do this because I have mentioned before that I have so many groups and I have principiante uno, I have advanced two, I have pre intermedio dos. So yes, I understand. I tend you. to confuse like some information sometimes, you know? Okay. So let me do it right now. Okay. So please remember this is just vocabulary. Mañana vamos ya a empezar a elaborar oraciones concretas, ¿ok? ¿Cómo me veo? ¿Cuál es mi edad? No siendo específico. Luego, claro, vamos a meter esa información. So before we go, les envío ahorita el grupo de regular and irregular verbs, right here. So, here we go. Aquí está, clase. Thank you, Romeo. Gracias. ¿Algo más que les deba? Thank you. Creo que les debo. Les, les debí <laughs> algo más. I don't remember. The PowerPoint presentation, probably, right? Let me see if I have a PDF. Vamos a ver qué más les comparto. So, questions about vocabulary, pronunciation. No? So, don't forget to practice. Practice. Probably, tal vez lo que le agregaría. Vamos a buscar más categorías de la edad. Para que sepamos cómo vamos desde babies hasta ya una edad muy avanzada. La vamos a agregar mañana a la clase. I'm going to do this right now. Y probably to practice more about the hair. Practicar un poquito más con el cabello. Right? Porque lo demás está bien marcado o bien completa la information. Okay. Questions about the vocabulary that we have for today. How do you look like? ¿Cómo se ven, chicos? Recuerden, apariencia, edad, looks, and height. So, if you don't have more questions, we can stop the class here. Si no, se nos va a hacer un poquito más la clase, más larga. And we are going to continue tomorrow. Okay, class? It was nice having you here today. Thank you. Have a good Bye. night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. See, you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Is that your baby, Maria? Yes, my baby. Really? So say bye-bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> class. Take care. See you tomorrow.